this is Dan over here, and this is Midnight Fight Express. I don't remember the episode. I'm gonna guess six. So, oil rig. And then I was dying word the revelations about the past and the questions about the present looming while Babyface and Droney set out to destroy her oil rig. The heart of her smuggling operation deliver another blow to the operation Neo Don in progress. Start the level. So these are pretty serious allegations that this NRM made against you. Abandoning your poor child, fronting a weapon smuggling up, and then you go and blow up an entire oil rig? Charges on charges, and on top of it off, you keep talking about this evil boss that you never even you never even met. Well, we're done a little digging. If the guy we think he is, well, what? If it's the guy we think it is, you're out of your pea-sized mind. Guy's a saint, a philosopher, no criminal record, just a history. Of... No hate behind this. Doesn't look good for you. Even if you, even if you were, even if you thought you were doing the right thing, in the city, as you say. But you know what? You've got a lot left to tell us. Maybe execute. Maybe you ex I, uh, yourself yet. Now, what about this lie, Joran of yours? I just, I just knew a little tiny C4 would come in handy eventually. We all. Oh, Thanks for the idea to blow this to hell. We'll do it in her memory, yeah? Champ, hello, what's wrong? I know it's sad. Well, you're from really, huh? I get it. It's heavy to learn your moral compass was formerly out of whack. Whatever. Let's see. We really got reset when we met. Now, I'll tell you what. Everything you're doing today is making this world a better place. That's all that matters. Now, let's see what we came here to do. That's some blue bit up. Blokes, why don't you just stand there like a pitchfork? Our shipment's coming in, but it's gone dark. Word is being back and killing everybody. Oi! Not the chitty again. Oh, this is dead. Now I'm coming back. Bloody hell, zombie, get it! Downstairs, I thought there was something to pick up there. <laughs> Look, buddy, we're dealing with a crisis. So hand over what we paid for and head back to where free healthcare country you came from. You give 20% extra, I go, or deal off. How about 20% I'm a instead? I'm gonna get more. 5% guaranteed.
Victorious. Remember, you're destroying a weapon shipment to the mainland, and that's it. No joy. No joys coming this time, got it? How about we get the shipment to the mainland and do some sightseeing on the way back? Win win. What part of the no did you not get? You've just never been on a night drive. It's magical down there in the dark. We'll go sign out, you'll see. The weakest part of the rig. Toss it in there and let's get out of here before the fireworks kick off. Oops. Hey, I found some right My bad. This place is about to blow. We better get out of here quick. I saw some Dutchies nearby. Go. to the jet ski, but yeah, sure, yeah, I totally made it. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? That never happened. Water chase. Ooh, nice. What started as a way to escape the oil rig explosion became a tense jet ski chase across the bay as Mavis Droney seek to escape their enemies and get to their next target. So I didn't mean to but we're definitely the smugglers off something fierce. They may be able to catch up to us, and they may try to kill us. Just guess. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's so shoots fast. Listen, uh, telling you the truth and all that. I haven't been totally honest. And that guy's wanted to miss it. It's because you don't. Need any directions for the mission? Swear. Speaking of direction, you got four. You got more bays coming up. Or six. Hop tip. If Jet Birch J gets a fire from all the bullets, take one of theirs instead. Take that cover out real quick. Then I'll spin the filled beans. Here are everything you got. All well, this bag cut up is quite a lot better. Whoops, I what the, how was I taking so much damage?
this follows you around for a little bit. Can I just, can I, can't I aim up guys? Whoa, take that. Okay, as I was saying before, we really have no, that's why I tell you before, not exactly 32. I do hack, I do, I do have, wait, I do have, I do have a hatred for bullies, and I do want to save the world. I just do it from the inside the boss's HQ where I work. Okay, wait, before you turn my head off, I'm basically a prisoner here myself. The boss has been using me for mess. But I ain't doing any more. Managed to find a hiding spot is to keep helping you out. Boss is definitely looking for me now, though. Real sorry I didn't tell you sooner. Thought you may. You would trust me if you knew the truth. Hope you. My accent so far, I've earned is a chance with y'all. Not fruit. Now, if you're still with me, I hope y'all let's see Doc at the harbor over there and get to our next target. After showing us oil rig and escaping a tense ski jet ski standoff, Fendroy reached the docks to find themselves in one of the boss's honey pots disguised as a civilian evacuation shelter. Let's go. Act 2. A gun puts a man to your face. You get to choose to stand there and die or kill. I don't think that was a real quote. <laughs> so that's drawing part as you call it. So you're to just trust straight off the, right out of the gate. What is that man doing over there? You see it? Hey, right, continue on. And and then you find out it was lying since Smash it for me to tell you. You just go on trusting? I gotta say, that's pretty noble of you. Most noble lie I've heard of. What? Didn't think we could see your materials? These are x ray eyes, son. Now, I know this is a bit of a turn from earlier, but here's the thing. Were you thinking maybe you really do believe? Believe in loyalty and trust, and maybe not so much with this boss. But then again, if you're saying oh, his role in the takeover is true, big F. That's probably you might be redeemable after all. Cause let's face it, you're tr you trustworthy, trust truly honest, true love. Then you keep the promises you make, no matter what. So this is pretty sure this is one of the civilians of access city offices tried to set up when the whole this whole mess started. So pretty sure this is one of the civilians of access. Oh wait, sorry, whoops. Boss co-opted them pretty quickly though, made them into honey pots returning syllabus into prisoners, or worse, flipping them to his side. Guess what I'm saying is probably should prepare for some real Fungliness? Sure. Those little pig, you gotta drain the life from ya. Arg me, you gotta go to sleep so we can get ye on ice. Render ye chest and extend, extract our treasure. Um, are those pirates? I mean, he, he means treasure chests, right? Right? No. He's the power of the bone stick. Or a chest. Okay, that works too, I guess. Give me the knife. Ah. So this is beyond messed up what the boss was trying to flip saves, but this sent him to what they think is a safe place, only to have their organs harvested? Well, that's a special place to do like that. True, true, very true. 
or anyone, anyone else want to try and stop? Uh, well, why'd you do that again? Guys, see how they haven't earned on the outside. Go! Wow, this knife is really strong. Dude, you know the jail players fill the sand with pro. Oh. Organs can switch between Chef and the boss as usual. Remember, keep the brains. Eh, you damage them, I damage you. Okay. That chief, uh, those psychos we're talking about, he's been the boss go to buy for black market gourmet items, they call them. We're talking endangered animals and apparently human organs. Now, to meet the guy a couple times, thanks he's a total. I bet we prove him otherwise. <laughs> Alright, uh, pick up the axe. Is that a freaking musket? Oh, it's a shotgun. Alright, that is kinda cool. Yeah, you know, the boss was always keeping me at arm's leg, but I I know some wild experience were going on behind closed doors. Never imagined the monster was literally harvesting and using her for them. I guess I just pretended whatever it was wasn't happening. Don't think it. I could do anything but it anyway. But with you here, that's all changing. I won't forget that. Now, let's grab that truck. Oh, now let's grab that truck, track down the chef, and force him to eat a plate of delicious karma. Sounds like a plan. Well, that is gonna end this episode here. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to down below. Do me know if I upload a video and subscribe. If you like what you see, alright, peace. Out.